Hi, this is Angie Bunny. Welcome to segment three of Book Yourself Solid, the fastest, the easiest, and the most reliable system for getting more clients than you can handle, even if you hate marketing and selling, like I once did. Today we're going to explore why people buy what you're selling. Now, we're going to start with the four steps that'll help you understand why people buy what you're selling. When you understand this, you'll be able to create a relentless demand for your services. I mean, isn't that what we all want to know how to do? Well, I'm going to share with you our four-step process. So step number one, identify your target market. Two, identify the needs and desires of your target market. Step three is determine the biggest result your clients get. And step number four, demonstrate the benefits of your investable opportunities. So let's dig deeper. In step one, we're gonna identify your target market. What do I mean by target market? Because definitions are very important here. The Book Yourself Solid system differentiates between your target market and your niche. Your target market is the group of people you serve. Maybe you serve the recently divorced, or bankers, or IT specialists, or, I don't know, diabetics. Your niche, on the other hand, is the service you specialize in offering to your target market. Maybe you help the recently divorced put their finances back together, or you help that market lose weight or enter the dating market. Here's the funny thing. Not everybody in your target market is an ideal client. So why do we need a well-defined target market? Why not just market to anybody with a pulse and a wallet? Well, there are three reasons to choose a very specific target market. The first, you'll actually know where to find your potential clients. Two, they'll know you're committed to serving them. You are talking just to them, not to the general population. People respond to selectivity. And you can tap into established networks of communication. Members of your specific target market talk to each other. They make referrals. We love referrals. Let's go over these in a bit more detail because this is fun, right? We choose a very specific target market so we know where to find potential clients. If you have a well-specified target market, you'll know where to concentrate your marketing efforts and what to offer that's compelling and well-received. You'll know what associations to speak to, magazines and journals to write for, and which influential people you should be networking with. You'll also know where your potential clients gather. After all, if you're a certified financial planner who helps young adults master their finances, you're not gonna find them at a nursing home. There's nothing better than knowing exactly where to show up, which is pretty important because there's only 24 hours in a day. I mean, the last time I checked. We also choose a very specific target market so they'll know we're committed to them. When you define a target market, say recent college graduates who have landed their very first job, and you dedicate your life's work to them, they feel it and they wanna hire you for your special services. We also choose a very specific target market in order to tap into established networks of communication. Virtually every target market already has some kind of network of communication. So example, female entrepreneurs. Guess what? They hang out with other female entrepreneurs and they do this at women's networking events. Millennials, well, you're gonna find them at a gym or at a bar, but they're not gonna be at these female networking events. And here's the really beautiful thing. 
your clients will speak about their successes and they're going to spread the word about your services. The idea is to define your target market from the get-go so you don't waste your valuable time and energy. And here's the thing. A target market is just your starting point. You don't have to consign yourself to selling these specific services to this specific group to the end of time. There will come a time where you can branch out. After getting book solid within a specific target market, there are two primary ways to grow your service-based business. The first is horizontal expansion. This is where you sell more services to this one market. So you may start out selling weight loss services to the recently divorced. Then you offer them dating advice and financial planning. You're going to do this to the very same group. And the second is vertical expansion in which you sell your services to more markets. So perhaps you offer weight loss services to new moms. When you are booked solid there, you can start offering the same weight loss services to new dads or to women entrepreneurs or to speakers who are afraid to take the stage because they've gained a little weight but you do need to start somewhere, somewhere very specific. So let's go to step two. That's where we identify the needs and desires of your target market. This may sound simple, but it's not. You must offer what your potential clients want to buy, not what you want to sell them or you think they ought to buy. For instance, you may think they should know how to read a spreadsheet for financial literacy, but they want to get out of debt so they don't lose their house. You must be able to look at your services from your client's perspective, their urgent needs, their compelling desires. Your client's urgent needs are the things that they must have right away. These are usually pressing problems, and often they're the things that they would like to move away from. Your client's compelling desires are the things that they want in the future. They can see themselves moving towards these desires. They want to lose 20 pounds before their daughter's wedding in August. They're not interested in getting their triglycerides down by 30 points or they, they want to get divorced amicably. They're not looking to locate their mojo. So you want to think very specific and very compelling versus sort of nice, sort of hazy. So step three, remember, determine the biggest result your clients get because potential clients are looking to solve one big problem or to achieve one big result. If the number one biggest result your clients get when working with you is to solve that big problem or to achieve that one big, big result, you actually have something to hang your hat on and your marketing is going to become way easier. So what one big result will your client get by working with you? Will they save their house from foreclosure? Will they lose 20 pounds in 60 days? Will they write and publish a book so they can sell it in the back of the room? Make sure you deliver that one big promise and you are on your way to getting book solid. Finally, don't forget there's step four where you demonstrate the benefits of your investable opportunities. If your potential clients are going to purchase your services and products, they must feel that the return they receive will be greater than the investment they made. And, and here's a simple rule of thumb. Your clients should be getting a return of at least 20 times their investment in your services. So if you're charging, I don't know, $97 for your particular program, they need to see a $2,000 value. Now, this return will come in different forms. It's not just money, and it can be summarized by the deep-rooted benefits that your clients get from the number one biggest result. What value would they place on finishing that book, losing the weight they've spent the last 10 years struggling with? 
paying off their credit card debt instead of going bankrupt. So we can organize these deep-rooted benefits into four related categories. Financial, emotional, physical, and spiritual. See, people buy results and the benefits of those results. So think about the solutions you can offer, as well as the subsequent results and the benefits. So to sum it all up, to understand why people buy what you are selling and to create relentless demand for your services, you need to do four things. Select a target market, identify your client's urgent needs and their compelling desires, determine the number one biggest result you can help them get, and finally uncover the deep-rooted core benefits of that big result, financial, emotional, physical, and spiritual. So that's all for today. I'm Ann Shibani, and I'll see you in the next segment of Book Yourself Solid.